Hello Leo, welcome to another love reading. This one's gonna be all about your person, what they're thinking, feeling about you. How do they view you or this connection? What are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you? What do they wish they could tell Leo at this time? So let's jump right in for Leo. For Leo, what do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know for Leo regarding love? What's going on in the connection between Leo and their person? What's going on, this connection? Unrequited love and free yourself. So there's an imbalance here. True love at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. I instantly thought of someone that's not being given what they deserve or they're, they're being given less than they deserve, something like that. Okay, what else? What else do we need to know for Leo? What else do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know? For Leo, what is going on in their connection at this time? Divine timing and reach out. So, divine timing is at play, okay. So reach out, interesting. What is happening here? It could be that someone is in a connection right now that they're not happy in and they wish they could reach out to the person they would be happy with that's like what i'm seeing when i see all of these energies together or i don't know it's almost like someone would need to be free in order to have what it is that they would like to have or in order to reach out let's see what we got with the tarot can we get some insight, please? For Leo, what's going on in their connection? For the person they're thinking about connecting with at this time, what do we need to know? Of course, I can't pick up the stick. <laughs> okay, what's going on in your connection? Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, it's almost like someone wants to take initiative here with the Page of Wands. Okay, we have on your side, on their side. And bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords reversed. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something. Seven of Swords reverse. Someone being caught, red-handed, being seen clearly for who they are. This could be somebody caught in a lie. This could be somebody that maybe they don't get away with um, everything, but they tried. Someone, okay, hold on. Let me let me just first look at this Ten of Pentacles reverse. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles reverse. What's going on here? Why is the Ten of Pentacles reverse? Ten of Swords, yeah, I knew it. Something happened. Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the Sun. I feel like someone got caught doing something they shouldn't have been doing, caught lying, or did something they shouldn't have been doing. And it, it caused an ending, it broke a commitment or ended a commitment or something like that. With the sun, I'm getting like the light, the light is out or the light shone on something. There was clarity about this situation. So this could be you that's going through an ending, Leo. It could be the person that you are dealing with that is going through an ending. This could have happened between you and this person. Tell me about the Page of Wands. What's this Page of Wands about? This could be somebody wanting to reach out here. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Yeah, the King of Cups. 
Someone wants to reach out, open up lines of communication here. The Hermit, Virgo energy. They could have been um, far away or retreated or just are coming in, I feel, to start something new. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. This is interesting to me. Hang on. The Wheel of Fortune is here. Divine timing. Tell me about this hermit. It's like someone was thinking about this for a while. Tell me about the hermit. Seven of Swords, Jesus. Something is up here, something I'm missing. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Can you tell me about this page of pentacles? It looks good. It looks good on the outside, but something's off. And the seven of swords was like trying to tell me that. Four of pentacles, knight of cups, seven of pentacles, three of wands. So all of this is telling me there's a waiting period or someone's perhaps not acting or not taking action. Okay. Okay, so I'm getting a few messages. The main one that I'm getting is that there's there's a reason why when this Hermit energy with the Seven of Swords and the Page of Wands are together, I'm getting someone that should not be talking or reaching out. They should not be doing this. So they're doing it in the dark or they're doing it quietly. They're doing it because they're not, you know, they're doing it outside of like, people's visions or hold on I forgot English for a second <laughs> how do I say this they're doing this in the dark away from prying eyes okay for a reason because they're not supposed to be reaching out this person is not supposed to be reaching out to you or vice versa and it's probably because of this ten of swords ten of wands the sun Maybe they need to apologize, Knight of Cups. But it's like they're holding back or they're waiting. They don't know how this will end up. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here, sir? Oh, the Empress. Why is the Seven of Swords here? King of Swords. I have a feeling that this Empress, I just don't think it's you. It's like someone being caught. The Seven of Swords reverse. This King of Swords knows. It's like this Empress has knowledge of this. This is the weirdest energy, Leo. I I hope that this reading is for someone because to me it's very specific. It's like it's like there's someone that is not supposed to be doing something and they get caught doing it. And it just brings more drama. You know? But I don't think this Empress is you for some reason. It could be. Maybe you caught them in a lie. Maybe you caught them doing something they, they shouldn't have been doing. But I just get the sense of someone after the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords or because of this ending. Someone's still trying to do things they shouldn't be doing. That's kind of what I'm picking up. So let's look down here at your energies. Let me get some insight down here. Tell me more about Leo and this other person's spirit. Can we get some insight into their energies? Tell me about Leo's energies. Tell me about Leo's energies. What can you tell me about Leo's energies? Burdened heart. True love. Okay. 
Avoided joystick flipped up. Okay, hold on a while. Tell me about the person Leo is or has or will be dealing with. These energies can be flipped, by the way, so feel free to flip them if they resonate for you. Tell me about Leo's person. What do we need to know about their energies? Love letter wishing well. Difficult decision. So I feel you are burdened because of everything that's happening or your emotions with this person. This person is going to reach out. Wishing well, love letter. I feel like they, they feel like this is their only chance is to talk to you, but I don't know if you want to hear from them. Ten of Cups reverse, Four of Pentacles reverse. You want to let this go. I feel like you want to free yourself from this situation. What about them? The Wheel of Fortune and the Hangman reverse. So they're wanting to change things around, turn things around, have an opportunity with you, take action of some sort. Why are you feeling the Ten of Cups reverse? And the Four of Pentacles reverse. What happened here? The Hangman, okay. Tell me more about the Ten of Cups reverse. The Four of Pentacles reverse. The Moon, Pisces energy. Yeah, I feel like you were possibly stuck um, in a situation where things were not what they seemed. Maybe you didn't get all of the answers you seeked or seek, or maybe there's still something that you need to kind of process here. Two of Wands, what's this Two of Wands about? Why is the Two of Wands here? Six of Wands, Page of Cups. I almost get the sense, Leo, that you wonder what did I, it's almost like you think about what happened and you're like, what did I miss? You know, what's hidden? What's a mystery? What secrets are there? What else is there that I don't know? You know, it's almost like you, you might have even felt that all of it was a lie or that you were, you're seeing things differently. It's not easier, but you're seeing things from a different angle. And it's been very difficult. Ten of Cups reverse, heartbreaking. But I feel like a lot of you are ready to let go of this burden. Um, it's just you don't have all of the answers. And possibly this person's coming back in to apologize. And maybe that confuses you. Maybe you're not really sure what to do. Maybe you even wonder. Maybe an another chance would turn things around. Maybe things would be different if we did if we tried again. Tell me about the moon. Why is the moon here? Ten of Cups. Maybe you were happy at one time and that kind of confuses you even more. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then the world. I think that this is someone that's probably going to be reaching out to ask for forgiveness or to tell you that they love you or something like that. And I think some of you feel like you shouldn't be dealing with this anymore in, for some reason. Um, let me know if that's true in the comments. Like if this is something that, you know, you're confused about because a part of you hopes that it could work out. But the other part of you that has lived through this already wonders if it'll be just the same old, same old. Some of you are wondering if this is true love because you know, maybe it was an illusion. Maybe the happiness was an illusion because you were hurt so much. Let's look at this person. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune and the Hangman Reverse. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune and the Hangman Reverse. Page of Wands. Yeah, they're the ones that want to reach out. Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune and the Hangman reverse. The Magician, yeah. They want to make this happen. Ace of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Tell me about the Magician. Why is the Magician here? Oh, the Seven of Cups, they want to come out. They just don't know how. Tell me about the Magician. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. 
eight of wands they just know that they don't want to be out in the cold they don't want to be away from you they don't want to have this loss so this person you can they're they're, they're going to want to reach out to you to talk about what happened um I feel like they want to start something though like it's not just talking things out it's like with a page of wands i'm getting some sort of action that they want to happen because of this um tell me more about this person that leo is has or will be dealing with i want forever with you tell me more about this person that leo is has or will be dealing with I'm overwhelmed and I regret what happened. Bottom of the deck, expect a message. So I feel like this person wants to tell you all of this. I regret what happened. I want forever with you. I'm overwhelmed, you know. Um, I don't want to be away from you or apart from you or it's been difficult without you. And I think it's going to be up to you. If you are dealing with a Capricorn, um, you might want to check out that playlist because there have been, there has I, I sense very similar energies here. And I don't know, Leo. I feel like some of you. I don't know. It's almost like maybe this is a soulmate or a karmic karmic partner for you because it's not easy to disentangle yourself. It's not easy to free yourself from this whole situation. And I think this person might have taken some time to talk to you. They, maybe they've, been, they've held back a long time or they held back something important. So it's like some sort of action they have, they've been waiting on. And I think that action is reaching out to you because in their mind, they think that they're not going to be successful. They wonder if they'll be successful. Maybe because of how things ended. Maybe things ended so badly that they're wondering if they could ever have some sort of turnaround from that. Tell me more about this Seven of Swords. What can you tell me about this Seven of Swords? Death Reverse, Scorpio Energy. What can you tell me about the Seven of Swords? Five of Wands, Reverse, Seven of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. This person, yeah, basically whatever mistake they made, whatever happened between you, five of swords, whatever were deception, lie, situation that happened, they don't want it to mean the end for you and your connection. They, they want to fix this. They don't want this to end this way or they just want to talk. Um, and, you know, I feel like some of you are wondering if you want to even try again or if you want to hear from them. Because I think a lot of you are ready to let this go. But who knows? Maybe they are feeling so remorseful and are very serious about forgiveness that they're going to want to bring their A-game and commit to you. And really, you know, maybe, you know, some people really do change or learn from a mistake. So, I mean, it's up to you, Leo, is kind of what I'm seeing here. You have some choices to make. They they have definitely made the choice to want a second chance. I mean, that's very clear on their energy. Can I get one more, please, for this Page of Wands? Why is the Page of Wands here? Why is the Page of Wands here? The Hermit, Virgo energy. Why is the Page of Wands here? Six of Swords reversed. Yeah, they're coming back. They are coming back. They're returning from wherever they left, whatever journey they were on, whatever solitude they had, they're wanting to come back. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Leo. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoy how I read and want to support the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.